Megatech here back at you again with another episode on the Minecraft Guide World and today we're gonna start farming and I probably shouldn't have walked outside. Yeah, I'm gonna go back inside, you guys didn't see anything. Okay, so to farm you need I know I have all the stuff sitting over here. Uh let's just ignore that for now. Alright, cool. So to farm you need a hoe, which is two planks and two stone. You actually need two sticks, but I just use all those to craft a torch, a set of torches. So, two sticks, two stone, that makes a hoe. There you go. And buckets, I don't know if you guys saw me craft them in the last step. No, because we were focusing on mining. But you take, uh, I'm gonna use carrots as an example. You take three iron ingots, and you put them in that formation. That's also how you make glass bottles. You take glass and put them in that formation. Anyway. So when you have at least two buckets, two is the optimal amount because they don't clutter up your chests too much. And they don't, uh, well, I really need to make more tools. <clears throat> two is the optimal amount because they don't really clutter up your chest much. And they don't, what's the other word for it? Oh. They don't clutter up chests, and they don't... Why did I make so many? They don't clutter up chests, and they don't... Uh, you don't have an excess of... Or, you don't have too little. Two is, again, the perfect amount, because you can... For that project, it takes two water buckets to make this whole farm run efficiently. But, oh, I left my hoe inside. Alright, we will take the broken one. Now, there are a handful of ways to get seeds. Um, not sure if I came over here or not in video, but I have this little itty bitty carrot farm. Right now, this is the most efficient way to grow carrots, and or anything, any crops, in strips like this. Four long from the water. The only exception to the four long from the water is this farm right here. Well, this style of farm. Which is infinitely expandable, but I didn't have... I didn't want to waste my time expanding it. Anyway, so, to gra gather seeds, you run around with the hoe or a shovel or whatever you want. Your fist works just as well as any of those. And you punch. Those tall ones will give you them sometimes, but these little ones here. These little ones here. It doesn't happen every time. There we go. See? Wheat seeds. They're just called seeds. Um, they look like that. Rather useless. You can only get carrots from villages and zombie drops. Um, and loot chests all throughout the world. Carrots and potatoes and... I want to say carrots and potatoes and beetroots, and I'm pretty sure that's right. I don't have potatoes, so I can't test that. But all three of them attract pigs. Let's see? But as soon as I hold the seeds, he loses interest. I pick up the carrots again. I pick up the carrots again. And he... Yeah, see? Him and his friend. Alright. So, now that we have your crop of choice, there are others. Uh, I will go over it towards the end of the episode. Um... If anyone noticed at the very beginning of the episode, I have these little wheat plots outside my house, so I can hopefully do some animal farming here soon. This, it was up there earlier, but I took it down because I didn't want it up there. That's all that is. Anyway, so, the first thing you do, you take, I'm not going to slap down a water source because I, I want these to go away eventually. But, like I said, within four blocks of water source, this is the only exception I have found so far. Well, and it's one, two, three, four, five, but it's diagonal, so it's still technically four. Now, there are other ways. You can just make a big giant field and till it all, but I don't like doing that. That method seems to grow a lot faster, so we'll do that. But, for wheat, 
you always grow in numbers divisible by three because to make bread it takes three unless you're having a cookie farm which grow in numbers divisible by two if you don't know what divisible by two or divisible by three is go into your calculator or a calculator app see because these don't have water source near them they are gonna go away but if you're wondering what numbers are divisible by two or three go into your calculator app type in the number you ah ah oops didn't mean to drop that sorry you go into your calculator you take the number you want to plant divide that by two or three depending on what you're growing and it it should if it doesn't come out with the even number like no decimal points or places um, then you plant it if not try again so lighting um, you want light level it's like seven or ten I just find that you plant crops oh since slabs are water loggable now I forgot about this you can or er, slabs and stairs you can place um, upside down stairs and top slabs in water and these will still get hydrated I didn't think about that till after I did it but two to five blocks works well you should be able to go out at night and see oh I did that wrong. hey I still have my buckets all right Yeah, I'll finish fixing that off camera. But something like that. Then you take your crop you want to plant in. Carrots, potatoes, wheat, beetroot. There's melons and pumpkins. And you just strafe left or right or forward or backwards depending on where you're planting and how you're planting. And just plant them in. Eventually you'll fill up your whole farm. And then it'll... Uh, uh, what's the word for it? Then you can start to grow massive yield, yields of crops, which is harvest. In later episodes, we will expand upon this, like just doing some edits to the guide world and all that. But yeah, now you get to watch me place in torches. I know, so entertaining. I will go off camera and torch this thing up. I just wanted to show you what uh, you should do for lighting. Oh, I'm one torch short, that sucks. Actually, alright, uh, I will go destroy that since we have these here now. And then I will go to bed and then you will see me back in the creative world where I will show you what all the crop types are. I'll be back. Alright, so starting from easiest to grow to it looks like hardest to find I think. No, there's no order to it. So, we'll start with sweet berries. Um, they're, they're, they're found in spruce biomes, in forest specifically. They'll spawn in patches between 3 and 20 shrubs. I found them in. They look... Oh, where are they? Something like this in the inventory. And then wheat. That was the seeds. Generic named seeds. Um, you have to plant them next to water on tilled land uh, yeah sugarcane it grows only next to water but it grows on sand uh, I want to say it also grows on gravel but I know for sure it grows on get out of here cow no 
does not grow on gravel. Oops. Crud. So it grows on sand and, and both types of dirt that you can easily find. But it does not grow on gravel, as we just found out. Anyway, melons, or pumpkins. You can find these everywhere. Like, if you can think of a place, the only place I haven't never found them in is jungles. And savannas and deserts. But otherwise, I found them everywhere. So, if you are in one of those three, you probably won't find them, but other than that, you can. Right now, you have to hit them with shears. They give you... I think it's between one and four pumpkin seeds, and you'll get a carved pumpkin. You can craft the carved pumpkin with a torch and get a jack-o'-lantern. I believe on bedrock, all three will make an iron golem, but on PC, just the carved pumpkin will make the uh, golem. Oh, snow golems too. Melons, these are found in jungles only, and you can find the seeds for both of these in abandoned minecart chests and anywhere else loot chest-wise. They drop between two and nine melons. They restore like one heart. These are made useful for pumpkin pie for food, otherwise I don't grow them at all. But, yeah. Uh, this is what their stalks look like. I went to go place in the melon, and I placed it where the pumpkin is, and it, the stock wouldn't grow. Because they used to spring to whatever crop. So I was like, oh, that's weird. Anyway. Beetroot. Um, it looks like that. Yeah, kind of useless. They restore half, half of one food shank. You can find these seeds in loot chests and villages all over the... Yeah. Carrots, that's what we were growing. Y you saw what they looked like. Um, yeah. They restore like one and a half food shanks. Potatoes, they look like you'd think a potato would look. P um, they, they Uncooked, they restore like one half, half a food shank, I think. Cooked, they restore like two and a half. So I don't know. Uh, potatoes, every now and again, every 48 to 64, you harvest. I have, well, I can't say 48 to 64 anymore because it used to be that drop rate, but now it's not. I don't know the official drop rate for it anymore, but you can get a poisonous potato. It will give you poison, I want to say. Oh, I'm in peaceful. But I think if you eat them, it'll give you poison and you can get severely damaged from it. They drop from potatoes and rarely zombies. These two here will drop from zombies all the time. Well, not all the time. About as rare as an iron ingot. These are found in jungles, literally everywhere on trees. Uh, they're cocoa beans. Uh, they're used for cookies. It takes two wheat and one cocoa bean to make a cookie. You only have one flavor choice. Every now and again, when you chop down an oak tree, you will get, well, a, about five a tree. You'll get an apple. They restore, like, one and a half. They're, they're, they're decent food if you have a tree farm and can get a bunch of trees. But, yeah. Don't think they drop from any other tree. So, that would be that's the end of the episode, y'all. Uh, hope it made a little more sense than other guides did. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Bee roots are used in bee root soup. They can, they restore like five full shanks. And this is used in a multitude of crafting recipes. Uh, bread, cake and other stuff. These are used in rabbit stew 
and sp suspicious too. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a like, have a good one. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and for me to your friends. See you in the next one.